Right, you guys got another video on how to reset your registry in Windows to default. Now, if you've got an issue with your registry, or maybe you made some permission changes or something along those lines and you can't fix it, then resetting your registry is a good way of getting your system back up and running the way it should be. So go to your registry editor here and you'll see this is your registry. The Windows registry is a database of information, settings and options and other values of software and hardware installed on all versions of Microsoft Windows. So that's a pretty important part of the operating system. If you've got errors or having a corrupt registry, you can end up with blue screens and you can end up with crashing and all sorts of issues uh, with it. Now also malware will change registry keys and also people like to change the permissions of the registry and this can cause issues as well. A lot of telemetry and data collecting, people like to mess around in here. So it's important that we always back up the registry before we start to go ahead and reset the registry back to default settings. Now I've seen tons of people ask for help on our Discord server after they've been messing around in the registry, tweaking and doing loads of little different things in there that can cause the system to become unstable. So resetting the registry is really important. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we're going to go about doing this. So we've got our backup of our registry inside here, just in case we need to go back. And we're going to be using a program which has been designed by Microsoft. Now, they don't give you a download link for this anymore, but you can still find it on the Internet to download uh, from Wayback Machine. So that's what I did here to show you. But I'll try and leave a link in the video description for you where you can download it. I'll probably put it on my website so you can download it from there. But once we get this installed on the system, you can see the name of the program here. You can check that up with Microsoft here. They want you to use different ways of doing this now. They've sort of moved away from this. But we also need to have a batch file here. So this is our batch file that we're going to be using. And you can see here we're going to be basically resetting all of these areas here. So these are the areas which are your local machine, your current user, your classes root, and it's going to reset all of this and the system drive, all of the permissions that you've set, it will put back to default settings. So all we need to do here now is we've got our batch file done, and I'll also leave a link for that on my website as well. But first we need to go to the installation folder of that program that we've just installed here. So I'm going to go down into the Windows Resources Kit here, and we're going to go in here, and you can see the executable file here. So what I need to do here is drop in our batch file here. So let me just right click here and cut and paste this into this location here. And once we do this, we'll be able to run this batch file uh, with the program and you'll see what will happen. It will reset all of our permissions, which we've set in this batch file here. So let me go ahead and now close this off here. I just want to make sure by going to options here to make sure that we have in the view tab here that we have show hidden files folders and drives and hide extensions for known file types i'm going to remove the tick there so here we have our okay so we're all set here now we've got our batch file inside of our folder where we've installed the program i'm going to go up to where it says tools here i'm going to right click and copy this address once i do this it's going to give me the address of this location once I've done this, we can go down to the search box and type CMD and open up our command prompt as administrator. So I'm going to run this as administrator here. Click yes to the user account control, and this will open up our command prompt box. From here, I'm going to type CD, and I'm going to do control V to paste in that location that I just saved. And this is where the location is that we need to be. I'm going to push enter, and this will take us to that location. I can type DIR now and you should see our batch file inside of that folder because we just put it in there and there it is right there. So all I need to do now is type out the batch file name or the name that you give your batch file. I called mine reset underscore registry underscore permissions dot bat and that is the name of the file. You can call yours whatever you like, but I've called it that so I know what it is. I'm going to type this out and then we're going to push enter. And then it will start going through and resetting all of our permissions. So let me go ahead and push enter here. Now we've got that typed in and this will start the process going. And you'll see a load of text going up on the screen here. Don't worry about it. It's going off and it's going to reset all of the permissions on our registry. Now this does take a fair bit of time. So be patient. You will see a red box at the top here. Don't worry about that. 
but I'll speed this process up. But it does take a fair bit of time. It can take, uh, you know, a good 10, 15 minutes, depending on the size of your registry. It has to go through and reset all these permissions. So bear that in mind. Once you start this process, don't go canceling it halfway through its process because you could end up corrupting your registry and you don't want to do that. So let it run and let it try to uh, fix the permissions on your registry. Now, once this is finished, you will get like a, a complete message coming up on the screen here, which you'll be able to go through and read. And this will give you all the information about what we reset here on this uh, system. And hopefully all of your permissions that you messed around with have been reset back to default and they should have been changed. So hopefully that will resolve any sort of problems that you was having with your registry and it will fix it. Now, again, this is not for the faint hearted and there's always a risk that can go wrong that it's not going to be able to fix it. And you may need to have to go back and reset your PC. This is probably the only tried and trusted way of actually fixing any major problems that you have with your computer. So always bear that in mind. Now, sometimes the operating system is beyond repair and you're not going to be able to fix any sort of errors that you have with the registry or operating system or whatever it is that you've got going on with your computer. If that is the case, you will need to back up your data and start thinking about resetting the PC back to factory settings. You can do this using reset this PC, but first reset your computer. You will see getting Windows ready and basically it's going to go through some of the changes that you made here. And hopefully this will rectify any sort of problems that you had with your PC before you started tinkering with it. This is why it's always best to keep restore points and backup of your data. And also try not to tinker with your PC too much because you can break things. Now I've booted the PC back up and hopefully all of your problems have been fixed. If you're still having major issues with your PC, then you may need to consider resetting the PC. Go to settings and then go back to update and security here and go over to where it says recovery. In here, you'll see reset this PC. Get started, click on that button there and you'll get choose an option. Keep my files, remove apps and settings and click on this and it will take you to here. You can then click on the cloud download and you'll be able to then go next and then basically what that's going to do is get a few things ready and it's going to tell you exactly what changes are going to be made to your PC when you do this. You will need to reinstall all your applications. Your data should be safe, but it's always best to back up your data. It'll give you a long list here. As you can see, change settings back to their uh, defaults, keep your personal files, download and reinstall Windows and remove all apps and programs. Once you agree to that, you can click on next and this will then go through the process of reinstalling Windows as you can see here. Now, another thing you can try, which I've done many times and it has worked, is reset all the permissions uh, via the command prompt. And you can use these commands here. I've used these many times and they do reset the, uh, the actual registry back, especially if you've been tampering with a lot of these uh, policies and stuff like that inside of the computer. It will reset all of these. Even inside the group policy editor, it will reset all of these as well. And I'll leave a copy of these on my website as well. So you can go through these one at a time and reset this method. If you don't want to use the registry reset method, which I just showed you earlier on in the video. So you can always head over to brightechcomputers.co.uk and all the information will be on there. And that's where I'm going to be leaving it because obviously there is no real direct download link to Microsoft's website because they've removed that download link now because they want you to use a different method, which is something like this. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Tier 2 are rolling up on the screen right now. And a big shout out to Welsh Tony 1 who joined my Tier 3 group. I really do appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.